What's up guys, we're back with the new series where I review your collection flexes on Reddit, r slash Ruxin34 is the subreddit. If you guys wanna join and be a part of a future series, this is where we do worth it or not. We also do the collection flexes. So if you guys wanna be a part of this in the future, join r slash Ruxin34, the subreddit. You guys can be in on another video. So we are gonna hop right into it. I know there's a ton of awesome posts. I've already kinda of had a preview of a couple of them. We do have a quick giveaway. I'll be giving away this Serpent Knight Dragon original print. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed. Let me know your favorite collection flex of the video down below. Okay, let's start off. First collection flex we have a ton of Trihorn Dragons. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Looks like 21, 26 Trihorn Dragons. We've got a 9.5 from BGS. First edition Legend of Blue Eyes. Okay, this is a very strong trihorn dragon post i guess this guy's a really big trihorn dragon fan wow check this out upvote if your first ever Yu-Gi-Oh purchases in this photo he's trying to get them upvotes but it worked he's got 13 which is number one so in the future if you guys like the post or you want me to review them make sure you upvote them so it's more likely that i see it so we have the sardek kaiba first edition evolution we've got the unlimited original sardek kaiba there's a first edition right there that's crazy we've got the starter deck with the black luster soldier that's the evolution first edition yugi unlimited yugi We've got first edition and unlimited joey and first edition and unlimited wait two first edition pegasus that's a pretty strong one that's a pretty big flex this could be all of the original starter decks was evolution the next ones after these huh. so that's like all the originals that's cool new and old collection flex we have the, the starlight stardust and the dds blue eyes white dragon so the original flex from 2002 that everybody still loves and then, of course, the newest flex, the Stardust Starlight. I bet it didn't take him 134 boxes, did it? Collection flex, all first edition, near mint, PSA 10, Lily is unlimited. Sorry for poor quality. Oh, we've got a PSA 10 Lily. That's pretty impressive. Poor quality. Okay, it's a sideways. You make it a little difficult. We have Chaos Emperor, Genzo. We got a PGS 9. Is that first edition? I can't really tell. It appears to be first edition. If if this blur blurry stuff is first edition, I think it's first edition. Hey, Ruxin, just saw your IOC opening, wanted to flex my BLS on you. Are you kidding me? How do I remove this? I recently pulled these four cards out of just 10 blisters. And wanted to know if they're worth it or not. Link in the comments. Hey, this is a worth it or not prop post. It's a flex and a worth it or not. So we'll give it the flex. Worth it or not, we'll come for a future episode. Hint. No, it's probably not worth it. Pulled from first nine packs from two displays. Bought from Sassiato. Collection flex. The GOAT, Sassy Auto, nine packs, Ghost Rare, Blue Eyes Alternative. Shout out to Sassy. Go check out the link down below if you guys want to buy from him. And he'll support my channel, also support Sassy. You get some epic product, pull Ghost Rares. Works out for everybody. Some of my limited editions and first edition cards that I have, Collection Flex. Okay, so we got some uh, some 10 promos. That, that CED seen a lot of play. <laughs> this binder is uh, seems like an original binder. Very, very worn. Dark Magician, all right, the Dark Paladin. These have certainly seen play over the years. Certainly seen play. Oh my goodness, this guy. Did you kaiba that thing? Did you rip it in half? Check this sucker out. That's pretty cool. The real OGs, the collection flex, we have, oh, we're talking about old school. So I think this is Bandai, and I can't remember what this one's called, but this is also like before the English even came out. So these are old, old school. Both of the blue eyes. That's really cool to see in here. Collection flex, small one, but they're special to me because I pulled all three of them on the same day. Little story in the comments. Wait a second. How is this small? Ghost rare, ultimate rare? Bruh. And the collector 10? I mean, come on. So yeah, I was a young boy and it was holidays. My mom got me two of the 2010 10s. 10 10s is very crazy to say. Majestic red dragon and black wing dragon. The majestic red gave me the secret rare. Maybe not a pull, but I didn't want to overcomplicate the title. Yeah, it makes sense. Each 10 came with two absolute power force packs. And wouldn't you know it, one of those packs of each 10 gave me the other two as sick pulls. I was so incredibly amazed, especially as a kid. And I've kept them all together to this day. I know this isn't the big flex compared to some other incredible things, but I thought maybe this story would make it at least a little special and worth posting. Yeah, that's definitely an incredible story. And I'm sure when you grew up, you realized, wow, those are a lot harder to pull than I thought. So out of like two or four, I guess four packs total, crazy good luck. So that's a pretty cool flex. And that's the cool part about the collection flex. It doesn't have to be, I have the most expensive stuff. It can be, I'm flexing a moment that I remember and something that I really appreciate, not necessarily because it's worth $10 million. The story and like that, the moment of only four packs makes it insane. Highlights of my vintage first ed collection, collection flex. Okay. All right. 
that's enough flexing for you. No, I'm just kidding. This is really good. All these first edition LOB cards. I mean, they're like half a set already. Swords are revealing light. I mean, wow. Dark Magician was in there. The Curse of Dragon. This is the whole set minus like blue eyes. Blue eyes, red eyes. I'm trying to think. Unless, oh, exo wait. Gaia. Very nice. This is a very strong collection. Solemn Judgment. Mirror. I mean, like. Incredible. Incredible stuff. Collection Flex with the fire emoji. So we've got the Gaia. That's pretty awesome. Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. I love that artwork. The Blue Eyes White Dragon First Edition. Is that Duelist Pack Kaiba? That's what it looks like. Super rare. That's a cool one. GBI Slifer. You love to see it. Is this a jump? It might be a jump. No, this is Retro Pack 2. Okay, that's that's really, really cool. And then these other ones, we've got Ruin. I mean, this is a high high res photo. I like it. We can actually see IOC first day. We got the uh, Ruins, very nice. And then the Serpent Knight, which you guys can win in this video. Just like the video and leave a comment down below of your favorite collection flex. Collection flex, hashtag favorite card, Metal Raiders, first edition, Gem Mint 10, Summon Skull. That is an awesome card. It's one of my favorite cards I own as well. A little flex for me. Collection flex. We've got ourselves an ulti Trish. That's cool. An honest first edition. We've got Chaos Emperor Dragon first edition ultimate rare. I love that card. Super cool. We've got the Star Eater Ghost Rare. Honest Ghost. Another Honest Ghost first. Black Rose Dragon Unlimited Ghost. The number 17 Leviathan Dragon. Classic first edition Ghost Rare. And then the Red Eyes Flare Metal. I really want to get one of these. That, that card's really cool. This is how far my collection has come. I used to play around 2015 when I was about 10. When I was about 10, you were 10 in 2015. You're only 16. This collection is incredible. I started collecting again around August 2020, and this is how far I've come from just buying and selling and trading constantly. I bought this all for myself, so if a 15-year-old can, you can. 15. Wow, that's impressive. That's very impressive, Dark Magician 69. Collection flex. We got ourselves some Yap cards. These are really nice. The alternate art. We got the... Red Eyes, Black Dragon on the corners, the Blue Eyes in the middle, and four Dark Magicians. Very, very nice. I like that. Collection Flex. Boxes in the big showcase. All first set except LOB, MFC, and IOC with the uh, slanted face. Yeah, a little sad, unfortunate. Maybe one day I get a few first set of them as well. Okay, this is um, eh, not a great collection. It's average, I would say. Yeah, I'm just kidding. This is insane. Like, this is, check out all this stuff. We go up here. You guys can see this. I mean, just absolutely crazy. All the boxes down there boxes tins graded cards up there i mean this is insane absolutely awesome remember to vote for your favorite one this is going to be a tough one to beat that's a very good collection flex tons of sealed product collection flex is the only thing i've kept sealed so far the majority of my cards with the psa last year and i haven't got them back yet hey keeping something sealed is impressive in and of itself collection flex we have a blue eyes tune dragon secret rare spell ruler tune harpy lady from tune chaos and finally tune summon skull ultra rare from spell ruler my most prized tunes in my collection binder. Tune fan. Keeping those tunes, you got the collector rare, the secret rare, and the ultra rare, all different rarities. Collection flex. These are some of my favorite cards from my collection. Two first edition sets of Exodia, one Australian, one North American. Then a whole bunch of other first edition cards from LOB, MRD, and other early Yu-Gi-Oh sets. Vintage Yu-Gi-Oh is the best. I used to collect different Exodia sets as well, like different languages. This is really cool to see, especially first edition. That's really awesome. Collection flex wavy LOB box in the middle. Um, excuse me. Speaking of Retro Pack 2, did you guys hear about the 100k special? Hit that subscribe button if you want us to get there because we're going to be opening one of these, uh, not one of these six, but uh, one sixth of these that you see in this picture. It should still be pretty awesome. So uh, yeah, you want to subscribe for that. Blue Eyes Shining Dragon It's going to be pretty epic. But yeah, this collection is nuts. This collection is absolutely insane. It's always cool to see absolutely epic sealed collection some people have you know they have the willpower i don't have it collection flex a few of my personal favorites in my collection plus my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh collectible a prize patch from a tournament back in the gx days that's unique trading card game obelisk that's really cool back in the gx is like obelisk blue i guess that's super sick i mean the cards are cool that's very unique collection flex been a collector for years obtained these prize cards one by one almost a decade ago my crown jewel i am extremely jealous this is so cool cyberstein Des Volst. I'm not even trying to pronounce it. Shrink. That one's really hard to find. Blue Eye Shining. It's not a price card, but Retro Pack 2. You guys know. Crush card. Insane. Dragon Master Knight. Gold Sark. Doom Caliber. And the Dark End. That is awesome. SJC prize cards. I really want to get one one day. If you have one, maybe you want to hit me up. You're trying to get rid of it. You know, hit up Ruxin 34. Maybe you want to gift it to the chat. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Yeah, this is one of the coolest ones. I really like the prize card. Collection flex, but it looks great in my office. We'll get bigger and graded at one point. This looks so cool. Check this out. 
these little stands. Oh, this looks great. There's a cyber in dragon. Can we zoom in right? Okay, it's not, not going to work for us. 10k, dark paladin, Genzo, cast emperor, blacklister. I mean, just epic cards. This is, this is sweet. This is an awesome setup. See, this is the kind of stuff I wanted to see. My LOBNA first edition glossy master set collectors flex. So it's the secret rares and the ultra rares. Check this out. Blue Eyes, Dark Magician, Red Eyes, Gaia, Monster Reborn, Trihorn, and Gaia for the Secret Rares, and then the Exodia set. Collection Flex faded, so it's a 10 in my heart. <laughs> it's a 9, but it's a 10 in your heart. That's all that matters. I agree. Collection Flex, just a little collection sealed booster box first edition. Where's the booster box? Sealed booster. Okay, I read box. Okay, never mind. Yeah, oh, oh okay. I see. It's just all the uh, all the sets. Very nice. I like it. Small collection, but doesn't have to be a large collection to be awesome. Collection Flex, just started collecting in and picked up all of these today. Not Wow, you and Ham. Also showing one of my, for my old collection, hope you like it, Cyber in Dragon Ultimate Rare. Ooh, that thing is clean. You gonna grade this thing? Definitely would grade that. That's worth it for sure. Looks nice. That thing looks clean. Okay, maybe, maybe there's some something going on down there, but still, that's awesome. The front looks really good. Collection Flex, just some of my favorite cards. The Alligator Sword is from the uh, World Championships 2011 packs. That's cool. The Harpy's Pet from the Forbidden Memories game, Dark Magician of Chaos, First Edition IOC. And actuator from TP1. Ghosts and stuff. Collection flex. That is a lot of ghosts. You know I love ghosts too. So this is really cool. And there's a blue eyes in there thrown in. There's a ultimate rare Blackluster Soldier. That is awesome as well. The ghost blue eyes. We've got the Stardust. We've got Clear Wing Synchro, the Crystal Wing Synchro, the Re the Majestic Red Dragon, Number 92 Heart Earth. There's all Leviathan Dragon. Some of these are in OCG or Japanese, which is really cool. The Excalibur on both of these right here. I don't know what that is. That's a the uh, Stellar Knight. Yes, yeah, a Teller Knight. I don't remember what set that is. There's a Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon. There's the Power Tool, Black Winged, Honest. Yeah, a lot of cool stuff there. Collection Flex. We've got Gaia 7. We've got a First Edition Summon Skull 9. PSA 10 LOB Blue Eyes White Dragon. Just gonna throw that in there. <laughs> He's gonna throw that in there with these like sevens and nines. That's pretty cool. And then the Starter Deck 7. Starlight Apollosa, DDS Blue Eyes, and more. The Apollosa Starlight's like a K. The DDS Blue Eyes is obviously just one of the best cards you can ever have. The new Apollosa, cool. Blackster Soldier, Soldier of Chaos, nice. And just more Starlights. Wow, this man has a lot of Starlight cards. Ultimate Rare is good. Summon Skull with Rush Duel, the uh, MRD original, and then the uh, 10. Best I can do on a college student's salary. The Zeus, the Ultimate Rare Cyber Jar, that's cool. Is that a uh, access code Ghost Rare? We have the Ultimate Rare Blue Eyes, the Ultimate Rare Christron Halker Fibra, the new Dark Magician Girl, pretty cool. And then he's some Light Swarns and some Hida and the Vampire Sucker, I believe. Collection Flex, we got ourselves a Red Eyes Black Dragon from the Collector's 10. PSA 9 is actually pretty good because those things come out in damage condition. You guys have seen it. So we've got a Cyber Dragon Ultimate Rare, Cyber and Dragon, Cyber Twin Dragon, Cyber Barrier Dragon, and Proto Cyber Dragon. Those are beautiful. And then, of course, we got ourselves some... Uh, Starlights. So do you like the Starlights here better or do you like the Ultimates? It's hard not to pick the Cyber Dragon Ultimates, but they're both pretty awesome. My OCG gems, hope they make it in the video. You made the video. These are beautiful. I love these Ultimate Rares of the Originals. Red Eyes, Dark Magician, Blue Eyes. I gotta get these at some point. These are incredible. Oh, <laughs> Black Luster Soldier and Chaos Emperor. Wow. And then look at this one. I like the Ultimate Rares better personally. Those are really cool. Last collection flex. Euro print Ultimate Rare First Edition Shadow of Infinity uncut sheet. Has every Ultimate Rare from Shadow of Infinity on the sheet. Here's the pick of my favorite card in the sheet. Uriah, Lord of Searing Flames. But we don't get the whole pick? Are you kidding me? What a tease. Show us the rest. Show us the rest. Oh, first of all, that looks incredible, but I want to see the rest. That would be so cool. That's it for our first Collection Flex video. That was a lot of fun. There was a ton of crazy stuff. We have uncut sheets, prize cards, ghost rares, PSA 10 blue eyes, sealed booster boxes, retro pack, just insane stuff. So if you guys want to be in the next edition of it, go join the Reddit r slash Rux 34. But before we end this video, we have to shout out our ultimate supporters on Patreon and YouTube. We have Stanley, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, TCG Trusted Cards, and Toe Info Show. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I appreciate you guys so much, and that's it for this video. I will see you guys later. Peace. Shining Abyss. Ooh, the Revival Jam. Oh, and oh!